Hello everyone and welcome to the Game Shed with me, Jamie. This is a very overdue pickup video. First, without further ado, uh, pickups are from a good friend of ours by the name of Chris Ashanked. Chris sorted us out with a few niceties and I'm going to spin through them now. Here's Wario Land 4 on the Game Boy Advance and this is Exhaust Heat on the Super Nintendo. These were thrown in for free into the large bundles we got. Um, this was with the first bundle I bought of Chris, this was with the second. So I'm going to spin through the first bundle first, obviously, because that's logical, which I got in February, and it is just, I've got so many games here. Here is the first bundle. First of all, 25th anniversary uh, Super Mario All-Stars on the Wii, and this is box complete with the Super Mario history, uh, DVD soundtrack, the booklet, and the Wii game. There it is. It's in pretty nice condition. It's a, this fetches uh, quite a bit of money, this uh, this box, so I'm happy to have it in the Wii collection, because I've got quite a few awesome Wii games. Next up, <clears throat> in the same bundle, Super Mario Galaxy, box complete. There you go. Look at that shiny, shiny. Um, scratch panel has been scratched off. Disappointing. Wasn't going to use it anyway. And... Mario Galaxy 2 and that bundle of course came with exhaust heat on the Super Nintendo so then later in the month or early March um, he contacted us again saying look I'm having a clear out I know you guys love your original Xbox would you like any of these he sent us a whole list of games a photograph of a ton of games said pick and choose you have first choice so we picked and chose and uh, he also threw in a few freebies first up Reckless, the Yakuza missions. I love this game. I think we've done a video of it on the GameCube. Here it is, box them complete. Excellent game, thank you Chris. Second, and this is one I handpicked, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This is a game I um, have had my eye on for some time, but uh, have never got around to buying. It fetches quite a nice price as well. It's actually not my kind of game, it's just it's more a game I needed in the collection. Next up, one, uh, I, I hope Chris threw this in for free. I'm not entirely sure because we do already own it. This is Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. Not complete. There's no instruction manual, but there you go. Thanks for that, Chris, I think. This is Soul Calibur 2. I'm pretty sure this was one of the freebies. There it is. Box not complete. I think we've already got it again. Um, so anything that I'm telling you we've already got. Feel free to get in contact with us guys at the Game Shed, we can sort you guys out if you want to have any of these as trades. Next up, there it is, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords, boxed and complete. Again, not my style of game, but very nice to have, especially considering there are no more LucasArts. Next up, it is Godzilla Save the Earth. Um, we've played Godzilla Melee, Melee. Um, reasonably recently on the Xbox, that's a great game, so I'm very intrigued, uh, that's one of Mark's favourite sayings, very intrigued about this one, haven't played this, looking forward to playing this very soon. Next up, uh, Capcom vs SNK 2, EO, EO, uh, what's that stand for? Extreme Offence apparently, uh, not extremely offensive, Extreme Offence, boxed complete. Uh, not sure what the difference is between this and the PlayStation 2 version which doesn't say EO on it. Uh, we do own that on the PlayStation 2 already. Next up, Capcom Fighting Jam. We definitely own this for the PlayStation 2. Or at least I think we do. Now that I think about it, I'm not entirely sure. Box and complete. From memory, I think this has got a very small roster of fighters. It says over 20 uh, from Capcom games. Next up, Dead or Alive Ultimate. I think this was a freebie thrown in. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Chris. If you're watching this video, feel free to drop any corrections in the comments box. This is actually awesome. Had I known about this game, I would have definitely picked it. It's Dead or Alive 1. And underneath there, Dead or Alive 2. Both Ultimate Editions. Uh, box complete. <clears throat> Next up, and this is where it gets good. So, um, this one <laughs> is another one of the freebies, I think. 
thrown in by Chris, I hope, as a bit of a joke. Now, if you watch Mark's pickup videos, if you watch his uh, beginning of March or last day of February pickups video, you'll see there's a bit of a running joke with Mark picking up Star Wars Battlefront games. He always seems to pick them up without the disc in. So I believe Chris has thrown this one in, because I certainly didn't pick this in the bundle. Boxed and complete, so uh, Mark can finally actually play this damn amazing game. So that's the only PS2 game we got off Chris. Three games. Final Fight Streetwise. Unfortunately, not boxed and complete. There's no instructions manual in there. No biggie. It's not that expensive. It's not rare or anything, but nice to have in the collection. Nice little Capcom game. It's an 18. Yet to play it. Don't know. It's cheap, so therefore I'm assuming it's shit. Next up, and a game I've wanted to purchase for a long time. I've got a DVD burnt copy. It is Stubbs the Zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse. Boxed and in immaculate condition. Absolutely immaculate condition. Very proud to now own that. So my Xbox original collection is becoming immense. Now here's one that I am also very proud to now own thanks to Chris. This is Mega Man Anniversary Collection. This is an NTSC disc. Not a problem if you have a soft modded Wii. Um, Wii? Soft modded Wii. If you have a soft modded Wii, it will be a problem because this is an Xbox game. If you have a soft modded Xbox, however, this won't be a problem. I have a soft modded Xbox. Um, that is essential in the game shed, the soft modded Xbox. And this plays on it first time. You shove it in, no problem at all. However, yes, there is no instruction manual, um, and the disc currently is in the Xbox because I've been playing it. There's 10 Mega Man titles. I think it's Mega Man's 1 through 8 and 2 never before released in the US arcade games. So there you go. I've only played uh, Mega Man 1 through 8 on this disc uh, briefly just to test each one. And um, rage quit them all because I am shit at Mega Man. No instructions, not a big deal. I jumped on eBay on America and I purchased um, an instruction manual. So that is all from Chris. Absolutely amazing. Um, next up, I'll move on to current generation. Three titles I bought. The first one is not Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. It is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Havoc DLC. Now, I spent £12 on that. Four maps and a zombie exosuit thing I think I'm not sure I played one with a few mates the other day zombie horde mode with exosuits I don't know it was shit uh, the four maps on here there's a fun fair there's a big wasteland thing I can't remember the other two I played it once each map once shit 12 quid wasted bollocks next up zombie army trilogy bought this on Amazon got it on day of release I had a uh, four days off work um, in a row. Absolutely came this. If you checked, if you check our timeline below, you will see I've done the first 15 minutes of this, and I've done a montage, sniper montage. I'm hooked. Absolutely hooked on this. The graphics are stunning. The gameplay is immense. It's a wonderful game. It's so challenging. I'm fully stuck at the moment. I'm looking forward to uh, progressing and completing this, and finally taking out Hitler or Zombie Hitler. I'm not entirely sure. So based on that. And a game I've had my eye on for some time. Here's my next pickup. Sniper Elite 3 Ultimate Edition. Now, <laughs> this should have been with me um, on day of release. However, it wasn't. It was with me four working days later. And I didn't just get this. I got two copies. Why? Because Amazon.co.uk fully screwed up. Like, massively screwed up. So I now have two copies. I've got to send one back. They know they sent me two copies. They fully told me they were sending me two copies. But they screwed up. So, uh, this game, I hold resentment towards just because of Amazon. I don't find it as enjoyable as um, Zombie Army Trilogy, which I'm finding amazing. I'm finding the graphics are actually better in this than this. I, I don't really like stealthy games. This is fully stealthy. This is fully just gung-ho just don't give a shit, go for it. So, personal recommendation, this, not this. Although this is a very good price at the moment. So that's my current gen. I will move on to eBay. Here it is, it's quite a small bundle. So, first of all, 
this 360 game. Enemy Territory Quake Wars, 99p. Box and complete, trying to build up the 360 collection because it's a wonderful machine, albeit very loud. Buzz, a big quiz, like a Buzz game. Um, absolutely amazing party game, brilliant. That was £2.73. There you go. Along the same theme, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Party Edition for the Buzz Buzzers, and that was 99p. Uh, these are both boxed and complete. In fact, that Buzz Mega Quiz thing is pretty mint. There's that one. Uh, I had this originally when it came out, and uh, I don't know what happened to it. Next up, <laughs> don't know why I bought this. <clears throat> Super Farm. You remember Super Farm? You remember Super Farm? Me neither. Um, it's. It seems to be, the graphics suggest, it's Mario Party-esque, or WarioWare. Boxing complete, got it for 99p. Uh, you know I love a random game. This could be random. Expect this to soon be a video. Now, it does say 1 to 4 players, 10 wild and wacky characters, 6 hidden characters to find, 4 player mayhem with cooperative and team play mode, 16 varying locations, 4 hidden bonus levels, 6 game types, huge range of weapons. Oh, so that's Super Farm. All militant animals on the front carrying an arsenal. Uh, next up, and a game I originally played on the PlayStation 3. Wasn't overly unimpressed with it, um, but I think it was on a Love Film rental or something. Played it a few times, sent it back. Here it is, Max Payne, 99p for the 360. As I said, I'm building up my 360 collection. It's a double disc, box and complete, wonderful condition. Um, 99p, can't be bad. Is it going to be that shit? Don't know. It's by Rockstar, surely it's fairly decent. I don't know. Let me know. Uh, next up, here it is, Sleeping Dogs. I thought I'd get the physical copy on the 360, because while I'm using the system to its full extent, why not? There it is, stunning game. It's very cheap at the moment. The definitive edition on the PlayStation 4. It's a tenner, I believe. Um, so I might end up buying that if I enjoy this over the next few days. Have yet to put this in the system. Last up on my eBay's uh, eBay pickups and another 99p game. <laughs> Super Slamming Dodgeball. Another random game. Not sure, but it looks very much like wind jammers on the Neo Geo systems from the back of it. It says for one to two players, but I've just noticed <laughs> it's by Midas, so it's probably dog shit. Expect this on the channel very soon. That's my eBay pickups. Uh, then let's talk about my our good friend, Left the Jar Andy. He came to do some videos a while back. Um, one of which was released last week, uh, us playing We Party You. When he was down, he gave us a couple of games. Here they are. They are Super Famicom games. I love the artwork on Super Famicom games. I couldn't tell you what the fuck either of these two games are. Um, if you know, please let me know. There's that one. Uh huh. There's that one. Now you know as much as I know. Although you probably know more. There they are. Add to our um, Super Famicom collection. He also actually got us these because we were after them. Um, it's three for a tenner or a fiver each. They are Mega CD games to add to our very extensive collection. So the first one is quite simply Sherlock Holmes. Looks like dog shit. Probably is dog shit like most of the games on this system. The second is actually two games. The first, Soul Feast. That sounds like slang for a poo. Not entirely sure what that is. The second game on the back is Cobra Command. So there we go. That's games from Left Ajar Andy. Now, the other week I was asked by my wife if I wouldn't mind coming shopping with her for some clothes. I regrettably did so. But she allowed me um, the opportunity to go into HMV to have a look at the game section. I say she allowed me, she was off doing something and I actually just kind of slipped past her and went into HMV. And yes, I shouldn't really have purchased these two but they were brand new and they were £2.99 each. There they are. Resident Evil 6 on the 360 and Alien Colonial Marines on the PS3. Now. I played this briefly when it first came out, 
for about half an hour to an hour, and I forgot. I know everyone says it's shit. I thought it can't be that shit. Maybe it's just my memory was poor of it or whatever, but I've recently, uh, since buying this, I shoved it in again, and yes, I can confirm it is dog shit. £2.99, not going to complain. It's a um, limited edition version, whatever that means, um, but yeah, there you go. Res Evil 6, I haven't played this. I've heard nothing but bad things about it. Looking forward to it. So that was while I was out and about. They're both brand new games from HMV. Lastly, in my four days off, I hooked up with a mate of mine in a place called Wood Green, and I went into CEX, and I went into Game to purchase some goodies. So first of all, I went into CEX, and this is what I came out with. Serious Sam 2. Boxed and complete on the original Xbox. Absolutely comedy game. I haven't played Serious Sam 2. I've played Serious Sam 1. Ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. Um, £1.50. Happy with that. Again, it adds to the Xbox collection, which I'm trying to grow. Next up, I've never played it, and I wanted it in the collection. There it is. Left 4 Dead. £7. Hmm. I've played the first two levels, and I'm really enjoying it. It's ludicrous crazy crazy zombie game next up and this was a suggestion by a lot of you guys out there on youtube and on twitter this is fable 2 on the xbox 360 two pound fifty boxed and complete and i already own fable 3 so uh why not give fable 2 a spin first next up and this is a game uh, i didn't recall ever playing but i have played it um since buying this, uh, I realised I've played this before. This is the original Borderlands, and I bought this because I really, really enjoyed the Tales from the Borderlands Telltale game, and I wanted to know more, so I bought this based on that. Um, three pounds, not gonna lie, not my cup of tea, really, but it's enjoyable. There it is, box and complete, three pounds. Next up, and this is a game I really loved when it came out. Um, I had it on the PlayStation 3. It is Homefront. Now, I don't believe this got quite enough praise. I don't think it's perfect at all. It's buggy. But um, I believe the story immense. Uh, the gameplay is perfectly adequate. Um, and it does look really nice. That's Homefront. £2. It's a purchase to put back in my collection. So I got rid of my PlayStation 1. So I put a question to Twitter, which was, which Xbox 360 games do I need in my life? And most answers came back as the following game. Here it is. This is Alan Wake. This game cost me £3.50. There it is, boxed and complete with my store receipt. Um, I thought, okay, bit of a dodgy name. Just, just a fella's name, Alan Wake. Just he could run a hardware store down the road. Um, I bought it not knowing anything. I didn't look it up. I didn't know anything about it. I wasn't a 360 owner when the 360 came out. I only got my 360 about a year ago. Um, so I popped it in, not knowing anything about it. Instantly, my jaw dropped. Storyline, graphics, gameplay. This is stunning. It put me on edge as well. This really put me on edge. If you haven't played this, um, and slightly intrigued, I made a video, check down our timeline, played the first 15 minutes for the channel, blown away, best £3.50 I've spent this month, there it is, Alan Wake, genius. Next up, um, I'll go to Game, uh, over the road from CEX is a game store, there it is, Alone in the Dark, classic franchise, uh, reboot, £1.99, I thought, oh, it's got to be good, isn't it? What a fucking pile of shit this is so bad the um the mechanics are broken it's so shit i played maybe half an hour that's probably all i will ever play of this one pound 99 fhm right fhm and maxim on the front here gave it four out of five there's a reason People don't read those magazines for anything other than the breasts. They're not known for their game reviews, are they? Wankers. 
There you go. Right, next up, and it's a game I've been intrigued about for a while. It's the Steelbook version. Here it is. It's Turok, or Turok. Um, Turok is how his name is pronounced in the game. Turok is how us less educated English folk would uh, pronounce this game. It's the PlayStation 3 Steelbook, £3.50, boxed and complete, um, with a an art of Turok um, thing. Not entirely bothered about that, but £3.50, not going to complain. Uh, I've played maybe about half an hour of this as well, really, really like it. Um, happy days, happy days. Next up, this cost me £4.00. Knew nothing about it beforehand, but this is Fairy Tale Fights. Absolutely brutal. If you want to know more, it's on our timeline. Boxing Complete from Computer Exchange. Wonderful. Great humour. Just uh, slash them up um, with over, I think it's 140 weapons. Yeah, 140 different weapons. You play Sleeping Beauty or Cinderella or someone. Yeah, it's a hack and slash. It's stunning. So that's it. Apart from one thing, my most expensive non-current generation game, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I have finally added this to my collection. I am so happy I have. I bloody love this. 32 playable characters, or over 32, including uh, Sir Arthur from Ghouls and Ghosts, um, Hulk, you've got Deadpool, Ryu, Wolverine, boy, I mean, wow, this game, beautiful Joe's in there, how much did I pay for it, there it is, cha-ching, £15, £15, not too bloody bad, it's in absolutely mint condition, there it is, box complete, um, on the front cover, you can see Iron Man, Chun-Li, you've got the the dog wolf thing out of uh, what's it called? Um, Akami is that the name of the game? Um, Wolverine, Captain America, Thor, Spider Man. Wow, wow is all I have to say. Beautiful controller mechanism. I don't really like. I don't like the way um, attack. It's just attack buttons rather than kick and punch separate buttons. But anyway, stunning. So that's my pickups. Absolute shitload of them. Oh, I did get one more thing. Here it is. <laughs> this is needed if you follow our channel. This is the Conquer Live and Reloaded walkthrough book, right? I fully need this. I am trying to do a complete walkthrough of this game at the moment, and uh, I'm, I'm trying not to watch other people's videos of it. I, I'm tr I tried to do it on my own, but I, I keep on getting stuck. That game is baffling. So I bought this, and um, I can't bring myself to read it at the moment. I haven't brought out an episode of my walkthrough in a few days because I'm currently lost. Okay? I'm lost. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna dive back into it and I'm gonna find out where the hell I am. I'm gonna try not to use this but I always wanted to own this because um, I love the game and uh, it's it just adds it adds to the, uh, the the collection if you will. So there it is. So that's my pickups. There's still a few more bits outstanding that are in the post. Um, but yeah, they've come from friends, they've come from trades, or not trades, but uh, private purchases, and they've come from a few stores, and there's been eBay as well. So, leave a comment on what games you liked here, um, get in touch about uh, any of the ones I said doubles, if you would like those, um, and uh, remember to give this video a thumbs up. So thank you very much for watching, and until the next time, see you later.